All right, so the top protein sources that you can eat to help you gain muscle. Okay, so the first protein source that's on my list, uh, it's deer, deer meat. Deer meat is super high in protein, it's low in fat. So it's uh, if you're on a low fat diet, this is probably a good idea to look into. Okay, so the next one is actually Atlantic wild caught salmon. What I actually will do is, and what you can do too, is you can go to the Asian market, uh, specifically like a Chinese supermarket, and they seem to have really good quality fish at a good price. Uh, the butcher there is good. So I would look into that. I know a guy that is a fisherman, and he actually travels to, I believe, Washington State, and fishes his own salmon and he seals them and comes back and sells them so it's fresh completely fresh probably the best thing to go about which leads me to my next point which is farm raised grass-fed beef um, or just grass-fed uh, turkey i believe they have grass-fed turkey but mainly grass-fed beef i am actually more of a turkey beef or ground turkey it's a really good option if you're trying to put on muscle because you need the protein right to grow the muscle tissue so either beef from cow or turkey but i prefer turkey the reason i chose grass-fed is because i don't trust i know some I, I noticed that certain local farmers are becoming more popular now because of the or sort of these these hormones that they're pumping these animals in and it can uh possibly get into your system and I don't even know what else they put in these things, but in these animals, but it's something to be careful of. So I'm very cautious. I'm very particular with where I get my, what my sources are. Okay, the next protein source is shark steak. So shark steak, if you look it up, it looks like salmon and it apparently tastes similar, but I believe salmon is gonna be more tasty, but it's high in protein as well. Kind of like tuna, uh, low in fat, which actually reminds me that you actually want to be careful with not overdoing it with like tuna, for example. And I would imagine shark too, because they're big fish and they eat other fish, right? And this other fish, uh, it could contain high mercury. And you want to be really careful with the mercury content because it can become toxic uh, over time. Look into sardines. Sardines is uh, a smaller fish and has lower mercury content. Uh, so they are in this in the ecosystem faster or slower. Yeah, faster. They go in and out, so to speak. Uh, not they're not they don't live as long um, as the salmon does. The next protein source is pretty simple. It's chicken breast, chicken tenderloin, chicken breast. Now chicken breast can range anywhere between ten, sometimes nine, upwards to fifteen dollars. The next protein source is actually not a protein meat. It's actually technically a vegetarian route and it's actually oatmeal. Oatmeal is five grams of protein per 30 grams of weight or 20, 28 grams of weight. Meaning if you weigh out 28 grams of oatmeal, you get roughly about five grams of protein per serving. The last protein source is another vegetarian protein option and it is the lentils plant protein. Lentil downside of that is obviously that it can create some digestion issues so if you have any sort of resistance to beans and that sort of family of 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 food that's the downside but technically it's a really good source for about one serving of lentils depending on the brand and depending on the type you're getting anywhere between nine sometimes even up to 15 grams of protein per serving which is a lot so I would uh, encourage you to check out your local farmers because you can actually get really good deals if you know how what the right sources are and you can get um, eggs, which I didn't talk about in this video, but I'll go ahead and throw that in with eggs is the next last one I'll mention. The great protein source, obviously really cheap. Those are the best protein sources in my opinion. They're for protein, for, for muscle growth. And if this video was useful and helpful, please consider liking the video and email me or message me on my Instagram or where else, wherever else I am. Um, and I will gladly help you with your programming and your coaching and create a program custom to you. 
it really comes down to quality and quantity and being smart with your money so that you're not spending spending endlessly remember that protein is mostly in animal sources it's not found mostly in carbs so the only main carbohydrate that you'll find protein in is oatmeal and any sort of bean rice does not have much protein so i don't i wouldn't include that in this list uh, fruit does not have protein, at least not that much, so there's really no point in counting that. So anything that's seafood or like cow, chicken, duck, sheep, uh, fish, all of that is protein. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.